this is Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation using solvable copy method. So, let's get started. Problem solve x square p square plus 3xyp plus 2y square equals to 0. So, we are given a differential equation. Solution given differential equation is. x square p square plus 3xyp plus 2y square equals to 0. Now compare the given equation with quadratic equation. ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0. Okay. So here we are having differential equation for p, right? So let's consider quadratic equation in p. We have p equals to minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. By comparing these two equations, we have a equals to x square, b equals to 3xy and c equals to 2y square. a equals to x square, b equals to 3xy. And c equals to 2y squared. Now substitute these values in this formula. Is equals to minus b minus 3xy plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 into a into c. By 2a. Then p equals to minus 3xy plus or minus square root of 3xy whole square is 3 square 9 into x square into y square minus 4 to the 8 x square into y square by 2x square. So this equals to minus 3xy plus or minus square root of 9x square y square minus 8x square y square is 1x square y square or x square y square by 2x square. This equals to Minus 3xy plus or minus square root of. You can write this x square y square as xy whole square by 2x square. Okay. We are having square root of discriminant. That is square root of xy whole square. Since we know that square root of a can be written as a power 1 by 2. Then you can write this as xy whole square power 1 by 2. Since a power m whole power n equals to a power m into n. Then this becomes xy power m into n. This is equals to xy power 2 by 2 which is equals to xy power 1 equals to xy. Right? So this equals to minus 3xy plus or minus square root of xy whole square is xy by 2x square. Minus 3xy plus or minus xy by 2x square. Now take xy common from these two terms. xy of minus 3 plus or minus 1 by 2x squared. 
so you can cancel 1x from numerator and 1x from denominator you get y of minus 3 plus or minus 1 by 2x then p equals to y of minus 3 plus 1 by 2x and p equals to y of minus 3 minus 1 since you are having plus or minus here right so we'll take for plus and minus right so this is equals to y of minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 by 2x and this is equals to y of minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4 by 2x. Okay. 2 2 gets cancelled which is equals to minus y by x and here 2 ones are 2 twos are equals to minus 2y by x. Now we are having p equals to minus y by x and p equals to minus 2y by x. When p equals to minus y by x, put p equals to dy by dx then dy by dx equals to minus y by x take this y to lhs and dx to rhs then we'll get y into dy equals to sorry 1 by y right 1 by y into dy equals to minus 1 by x into dx so here the variables are separable, so we can integrate on both sides. Then integral 1 by y dy equals to minus integral 1 by x into dx. Then integral 1 by y dy is log y equals to minus integral 1 by x dx is log x. Since we are having both terms in log, so we will consider constant as log c. Okay. Then log y equals to log c. You can write this as log c minus log x. Okay. Since we know that log a minus log b equals to log a by b, then this becomes log y equals to log c by x since if log a equals to log b then a equals to b so here we'll get y equals to c by x then y x equals to c from this we'll get yx minus c equals to 0, which is solution for p equals to minus y by x. Okay? Fine. When y equals to, not y, when p equals to minus 2y by x, Put p equals to dy by dx, then dy by dx equals to minus 2 into y by x. Again, you can rewrite it as 1 by y into dy equals to minus 2 into 1 by x into dx. Here the variables are separable, so we can integrate on both sides. Integral 1 by y into dy equals to minus 2 into integral 1 by x into dx. Then Integral 1 by y dy is log y equals to minus 2 into, we know that integral 1 by x dx is log x. Since we are having both the terms in log, so we'll take constant as log c. Okay. Then log y 
equals to, we know that since m log n can be written as log n power m, then you can write this 2 log x as minus of, you can write this 2 log x as log x power 2 or x square plus log c. Again, you can rewrite it as log y equals to log c minus log x square since log a minus log b equals to log a by b. Then this becomes log y equals to log c by x square. If log a equals to log b, then a equals to b. Then this becomes y equals to c by x square. Then y into x square equals to c. Then y x square minus c equals to 0. So this is the solution for p equals to minus 2y by x. So the combined form of these two solutions is the required solution for the given differential equation. Therefore, the required solution is yx minus c into yx square minus c equals to 0. So this completes the problem. We have seen a problem from solvable for p in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.